Hola, mi amores. So we're still under the basic laws of life, and now we're on the fourth law under there. That's the law of attraction. <clears throat> the law of attraction. I remember playing with magnets as a child and being fascinated by the way some objects were attracted to them were attracted to them and others jumped away. Even more things appeared to be inert and indifferent to the magnets. I did not understand the laws of physics, but I thought it was great fun. If you had magnets stuck all over you, you would expect some things to stick to you, others to leap away, and still more to show no reaction. In a sense that this is what happens in life, you unconsciously transmit your energy. Some of your qualities are magnetic and others repellent. You have drawn towards you everything and everyone who is in your life, other things and people you have repelled. Many situations have no magnetic pull towards you. For example, you may not attract a condition of starvation or homelessness because you do not send out that vibration that brings it to you. A radio transmitter broadcasts on a particular frequency. Anyone interested in a program going out on the wavelength tunes in. You are a transmitter. You broadcast the play of your life. You send out into the ether the story of your patterns, emotional energy, mindsets, denials, likes and dislikes, and much more. Imagine you want to find an interesting program. There are hundreds to tune into and you are flipping through the channels trying to decide which one to listen to. Most of them you tune out immediately. Now and again, one will catch your attention. It may be heavy or funny, boring or interesting, violent or peaceful. Something about it draws you to stay tuned in. You may like some aspects but be repelled by others. Nevertheless, you are hooked in. We attract people to us the same way. People who do not resonate on our frequency simply are not attracted to us. They pass on by. The vibration you emit is made up of your conscious and unconscious energy, some repellent, some magnetic, some neutral. The underlying law is like attracts like. We attract into our lives people and situations that have similar vibrations to our own. Negative qualities such as neediness, desperation, depression, greed, unkindness, or, un or thoughtlessness transmits on a low frequency. If we have elements of these in our nature, we will magnetize someone with similar energy into our life. Qualities such as love, kindness, happiness, delight, or generosity transmit a high frequency energy and also magnetize people with similar energy. I hear people say, I can't understand why he is in my life. He is so negative and nothing like me. Or, why did this person cheat me? I am so honest. Spiritual law is exact. The universe provides mirrors for us to look into. Look around you and note the characters in your life. They are taking part in the play of your life for a reason. The more vehemently we deny that, our mag that we are magnets for a particular type of person or situation, the more our higher self is asking us to look at our shadow. This is a negative aspect of ourselves that we deny. If you feel ready to commit to a relation relationship but your partner will not do so, look within at your own fear or commitment. He or she simply would not be there if you were 100% sure. The moment you resolve your underlying belief, the other person will either commit to you or leave your life and allow someone who can commit to enter. The person who is always cheerful and happy but seems to be surrounded by depressed people has attracted them to mirror his inner unhappiness. They serve as a purpose, possibly to make him feel needed. Desperation repels. A couple I knew were absolutely desperate to have a baby. They tried everything and went everywhere. There was no physical reason why they could not conceive. Psychics kept telling them that a soul was waiting to enter, but their desperation repelled an incoming soul. They decided to surrender and make their lives fulfilling without a child. As soon as they did, an energy shift took place. They sent out a magnetic energy of contentment, which drew in a spirit from the universe, and suddenly they were expecting a baby. A similar thing often happens when someone is desperate for a partner. People pick up on desperation on a subtle, a subtle level and stay away. When they change that energy into a loving, accepting, open energy that the right person is attracted in. Our underlying beliefs attract situations and people to us. If you have a belief that you are not deserving, you will attract people into your life who mirror that belief back to you by treating you badly. If you believe that you have to serve others, you attract people who need to be looked after in some way. If you have a belief that no one could possibly understand you, you will magnetize people who do not understand you. A woman who constantly attracted partners who deceived her realized that she had an underlying belief that it is not safe to trust, which, allo which allowed her to draw in people capable of deception. When she healed this belief, she attracted a trustworthy partner. A woman called Jane reminded me of an emerald green swamp. She was beautiful on the surface, but if you stepped too close, you got sucked into the ooze. She was bubbling and jolly as an acquaintance, but, it, but in close personal relationships, she became demanding, needy, jealous, and a drama queen. Of course, unconsciously, she broadcast her advertisement for an actor who would take part in this particular play. 
She attracted men who are ripe to be deceived by the outer appearance. She complained about the type of men in her life. <clears throat> they moaned about her. However, they were inevitably magnetized towards each other's energy and would continue to be until they changed their vibration. If a man broadcasts, I am controlling and I am looking for a woman I can dominate, he will attract women who will allow themselves to be dominated. It will almost certainly be unconscious. An empowered woman would not be drawn to this vibration. The person who keeps drawing the same type of person into their lives is continuing to broadcast the same message. The law of attraction works on many levels. If you are out of harmony with life, you may attract food that disagrees with you. If you think self-critical thoughts, you are taking little swipes at yourself, you may attract mosquitoes that bite you. They are serving as a reflection of the energy you are sending out. If you are barren, if you are barren, burrowing rage, you may draw an attack. These things may, of course, be a return of karma, which is the inevitable balance, balancing a right and wrong over lifetimes. Whenever you do something because you feel you should or ought to, you are in bondage. You will attract situations and people that keep you in bondage. If, on the other hand, you are sending out positive energy, you will attract help when you need it. A friend told me how she was completely lost in the country. She saw an animal in the field in front of her and wasn't sure whether it was a bull or cow. As she looked doubtfully at it, a woman appeared from nowhere and without preeminence said, It's okay, that's a cow. You are lost. I will show you the way. She led her past the animal onto the correct path. My friend had attracted the help she needed at that moment. If you think negative thoughts, you attract negative situations and people. If you have ill health, the moment you are ready to let it go, you will attract the perfect healer into your life. If you want a project to succeed but you have underlying feelings of boredom or you are scared or tired, the underlying energy will counteract the success of the project. Whenever something is not material, not material, material, oh my god. Whenever something is not materializing, <laughs> as you expect, examine your underlying feelings and, cha and change them. Then magnetize what you want, what you do want. The inner attracts the outer. If something, if if something in your outer world is not what you want it to be, look inside and shift how you feel about yourself. You will then automatically attract different people and experiences to you. If, for instance, you want a committed partner, look at how you commit to loving yourself. The moment you truly commit to loving yourself, the external will change and you will attract someone committed to loving you. If you put yourself down and never think you are good enough, you will, you will attract an abuser who will do the same to you. Remind yourself of your good qualities and magnetize someone who appreciates you. What about the highly evolved spiritual person who works with drug addicts or violent criminals? This happens where they have made a pre-life agreement to work with these people. It may, be, it may also be a karmetic consequence or something unresolved from another lifetime. And of course, there are cases where opposite poles attract. Someone radiating light may draw dark vibrations towards himself but will not be affected by them. A dark place such as a prison may draw enlightened people... Who wish to take the light in hmm so it says a dark place such as a prison may draw enlightened people who wish to take the light in do not send out negative energy and wait for a disaster to be magnetized towards you send out positive light and wait for a miracle to be drawn towards you you are a magnet you attract like to you hmm you are a magnet. You attract like to you. So that is the law of attraction. Gone for now, not forever.